welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Alicia Menendez. Our guest today is Tim Levay. He's on the board of directors for SCAN of Northern Virginia. Thanks so much for joining us. Well, glad to be here. So tell me a little bit about what SCAN stands for and what it is. Well, the name stands for Stop Child Abuse Now, uh, SCAN of Northern Virginia. And our goal is to, is to uh, um, protect the well-being of children, uh, prevent child abuse and neglect, and help uh, train parents in parenting skills so that we can uh, reduce the child abuse and neglect in the region. That's fantastic. And now, how did you become involved with SCAN? Well, I've just admired the organization for many years. I've known of them uh, for over, over 20 years uh, through their work, and I uh, was just very pleased when they asked me to join the board this year. And, and you used to serve on the Alexandria City Council. Yes, I did. And so what role does SCAN play with the local government to do the work that they do? Well, a lot of their work is as a nonprofit in public education and the parenting skills. But one at, one program they have that does involve the uh, the local government is their uh, is their court appointed special advocate program in Alexandria and Arlington, where we train volunteers who then serve as advocates for children who have been victims of uh, child abuse and neglect in the juvenile court system. So uh, the judges have learned to really like this program, and it's been imitated in many court systems around the country. And for the kids, lots of times it's it's the first time an adult has really stood up and been, been just for them. You know you are succeeding when other places are using that, what you use as a model. Now, you right. have a big event coming up. Yes, we do. It's our biggest uh, uh, annual fundraiser, the Toast to Hope. And this year, it's going to be on Saturday, November 12th. Um, at the historic uh, uh, terminal at, at uh, Reagan National Airport. So it's a beautiful location. Uh, we have uh, lots of uh, local restaurants who uh, contribute uh, food for food tasting uh, stations and, and, uh, and uh, wine and beer tasting from uh, local um, wineries and, uh, and breweries. And uh, we have a silent auction and it's always a very fun event and it's gonna be in just a great location. That sounds really fun, very easy to get to, metro mm -hmm. accessible. That's so right. how can our viewers get involved and purchase tickets? Well, probably the best way is to go to our website, www.scanva.org. Uh, you can find out more about the organization, you can find out more about the event, and you can uh, uh, buy a ticket. So now you spoke a little bit about the court advocacy program. Mm -hmm. What other programs will the funds from this go to mm -hmm. support? We also have uh, teach the parenting skills to a lot of parents. You know, I think we think every parent really wants to be a good and nurturing parent, but sometimes they just don't have the information and the skills to do the to do a good job. And so we have classes that helps uh, help parents with their skills. We also do a public education program uh, to help um, the the public at large understand the issue of child abuse and neglect and and, uh, and how we can help prevent it. So tell me what those parenting classes look like. Are they ways to calm yourself when your child is on your last nerve? <laughs> what are the skills it's, that you it's learn? A, it's quite a range of skills that can be learned and, and it's uh, also uh, support groups so that the parents, once they've maybe learned the skills, that they can look turn to each other for, for help and, and, and uh, sharing their common experiences and also just uh, resources, other resources they can go to as they, as they need that kind of help. And give us a sense of the scope of the program. How many people do you think you're touching on an annual basis? Well, with the public education program, it's so hard to say. To say, but you know, it's just uh, we have uh, dozens of, uh, of uh, these classes and and the and the cost of volunteers. Uh, and and with the public education, we know that we're, we're with especially with our allies, uh, that we're reaching just many thousands of people in the region. And you're clearly dealing with parents and with children, but are there other demographic elements? That that you see popping up with the people you serve? Well, I think that our main focus is on that parent-child relationship. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, it, I think child abuse uh, neglect is everybody's business because we all want to try to prevent that and, and look for the warning signs and, uh, and uh, speak up and be an advocate. So you have this great event coming up, but mm -hmm. otherwise, let's say someone can't go to the event, how can they get involved more generally with SCAN? Yeah. Well, once again, I'd encourage them to go to our website because there are some great volunteer opportunities, other chances to be, to be a, a, a financial assistance, but we uh, just have a, an ongoing program year-round that, that we would love to have people participate in. Well, we thank you so much for your work. Well, thank you for having me. If you want to learn more about what's going on in your community, you can go to Comcast On Demand and click Get Local. For Comcast Newsmakers, I'm Alicia Menendez.